Lord Rosfield, is there aught to the Undying? Perhaps. My brother said that your order was helping him with his quest to uncover Ultima's origins. Have you learned anything of note since La- Little and less, I rep- I see. Be assured, however, that we will not rest. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in- Fallen ruins, I take it. Indeed. Ultima's thralls are oft as if protecting the secrets concealed. Secrets with Sienna. Should our methods be of interest, mayhap it would please you to observe. Would that be possible? Of course. As if a chance you are familiar with Kretov. A small hamlet built around a fallen airship. I was due to visit my colleagues there to collect their preliminary findings, but if you would consent to do so in my stead, I'm sure that they would be... All right. I'll go and meet with them. They will be most gratified, I am sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? It will lead you straight to the village after but a short walk. Thank you. I will. I wish you a safe journey, my lord. A village built around an airship. Sounds like another lost wing. I hope the inhabitants are just as friendly. Welcome, welcome. Of course. Anything else? A fine choice. Of course. A fine choice. Of course. Anything else? Come again. You'll pay for this. There may still be survivors. This
Should have stayed in the past. These must be Cyril's colleagues. You have our thanks, stranger. Who are you? Ah, forgive me, my lord. I did not recognize you. You are Lord Rosfield, are you not? We are archaeologians, tasked with surveying this site, thanks to them, and to you. We were, for a... You call that a mercy? Your brothers might still be alive if you put their safety before your duty. Surely this survey wasn't worth dying for. We are charged with uncovering a duty of the highest import. And you think your dead brothers would agree with you too? I know they would. They gave their lives for the cause. Now. To what do we owe the honor of your... Pr Cyril told me of your work here, and I agree to collect your findings in his stead. I see. That is most kind. Pray. May the Firebird's flame burn ever in your heart. It's one thing to lay down your life for another, but for a survey... <sighs> I suppose I'd better get this back to Cyril. I shall study them, and inform you forthwith if I discover- Cyril, your survey party suffered several losses in Kretov. Losses which could have been avoided, had the others not chosen to complete their work, instead of saving their friends. Were these your orders? No. This was their- Every undying devotes his life to the service of the Phoenix. It is Even when death is avoidable. My lord. I fear that this is not a point the Undying have served the Phoenix for countless generations. We live to serve the Phoenix. Cyril, I know that you and- But allow me to offer you a word of advice. It does not further the cause of the Phoenix to have his loyal followers surrender their lives without good reason. Provide your survey parties with an escort, that they might live to do their duty for years to come. Think not only of how you can serve the Phoenix, but how Joshua would want you to serve him. Please. For all our sakes. I thank you for your, if you will permit me to respond. And we of the Undying will do as first shield to the Phoenix. I do. Then we are of the same mind.
So Dravosht is still standing. For now at least. If you can swing a hammer. I just Good day. Here you are. Thank you. Clive! You're here! And the Akashic? Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris's scouts and it turns out things are worse. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes. Well done. Welcome back. I'd never have guessed, you know. Who'd have thought that the savior of Drabojd would turn up keen to help us out again? I am. Thought you could sneak off without me, did you? Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. Zoldan, so how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old codgers, I see. That your idea of an apology? Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. <sighs> but that ain't the whole of it. Vulcan, our master, he left it to me. The best blacksmith in... <sighs> Bloody, if someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you're wasting half of mine instead? You're what Dravos needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty! Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravosh is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. Sorry, Clive. Short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to. You, uh. We can't afford to waste any more time. Right, you are. Might be. Don't want any nasty surprises, do Oh, and. Blackthorn? Akashic on the move. How close are they? Within well, some. Uh. They'll wash right over us if we stay out in it. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but... Understood. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stands, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what Akashic beasts can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing. But I'm going out there. Start work on the gates as soon as I've left. And if they kill you? You evacuate, and it won't come to that. Take good care of Dravosh to leave it to me and give it. Get him! 
Oh, the question is... Did I miss any? Man alive! You still in one piece! I slew as many as I could. <laughs> as many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. Good. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Sid! <laughs> Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmare. But mostly... I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood, meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but with ether floods springing up all over, it's no... We'll fortify the gates to... The, and I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand... As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravos needed you, so... I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. <laughs> Too bloody right you shouldn't. I always... envied you. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate. And from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally. Something we can agree on. I well, hope you see the sense of it eventually. A life, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Our work used to be the pride of Dalmic. Now... We churn out the same ru... It's not about the craft. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working. Honing my skills, trying to lead, but the average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our... Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dra- I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I. There's, there's people who trust their lives to my steel, and I dare let them down. <sighs> but that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Even better than I'd hoped. Sid. And this is? A token of our last but. I'm of a mind to make you. Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief. Now hold on, Zoltan. Uh, there's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel. And I've learned to own an edge Odin will be proud of. But the engravings on that thing... Are, and they're not just for show. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravorst in the... I knew I'd never surpass you with the hammer and tongs. So I... Between the two of us... I'd say with the... <sighs> Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome, as long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. Clive! I just wanted to see how the town's been faring since you brought- uh, Since Sweet Knoll is absolutely wonderful. Conrad and Natalie's hand firmly at the helm. Our stores are full- Just as the good Lady Jane- Are you a lord? Lubor's going to be one too. They're going to make him the Lord of Dalamil. Because of how he stopped all the grown-ups from fighting. It's the Mayor of Dalamil, dear child. But if the people wish me to lead them, I shall. And my first act will be to build a school so that menaces like you two learn not to interrupt your elder. Speaking of menace, there may be a rather worrying one just a- May there indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences in presenting- And they 
might have... They have formed what one could call, and they grow more organized. We'll fight them all off, just like last time. No matter how many of them there are, won't we, Lubor? Of course we will. If we continue to work together, we can... The longer we avoid facing this one, the more difficult it will be. Our best hope is to nip these efforts at organization by finding those ne'er-do-wells who have yet to join the cause, and perhaps a certain Lord Underhill? How could I refuse? <laughs> Thank you. Victor will fill you in. I have him stationed by the desert gate, receiving and collating reports from my... I'll go and speak with him. What's the difference between a lord and a man? A league of outlaws. Sounds like we have some competition. Still in Dalamil, Vic. Ah, sick. I thought you'd have returned to Kostnis by... I did. I've developed something of a fond... And having worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would... A sentiment, Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about... Exp You're not the only one. What does he want you? He asked for my aid in putting down the... And he said that you might be able to help me find... Then you've come at just the right time. I was on... There are more camps in the vicinity than we... But we must strike together, and we must strike soon, at as many camps as we can. All right. There's one upriver. Leave it with me. Those ne'er dwells want to band together. Let them. There'll be no match for us. Fly, Ambrosia. safe. That must be the camp Victor mentioned. Come on then, Toggle. That's him. The one who killed Locke and Fingers. Take his head off. to know. Sid, where are you? Ah, I see the bat. No, but... Uh, no. What is it? The whole town's in up. They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. What? Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them. And when Lubor felled him with a bolt of magic, and without a crystal, 
But that's not possible. It is, if he's a bearer and has been hiding it all these years. If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. Still, all those people see is a man who's lied to them all his life. One who has made a... Fuck. I don't know where we go from here. But I know one thing. You're right. And now everyone knows. <laughs> I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. <laughs> well, it was... We're sorry, Lubor. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. There's nothing to be sorry for. I rather... All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. All lies are wager. Just like the ones he fed us all these years. Once people make up their minds, it's how we need to do something. Convince the people not to let their prejudices blind them. Convince them. You're right. We should speak to everyone. I'm glad you agree. I'm a Dalmec born and bred. They listen to me. You head to the tavern. Make Conrad and Natalie re They know that Lubor and I are friends. I Lord Underhill of Randalar's League of Merchants, however, is a trust. I'll do what I can. Lubor, stay. I can't promise anything, but... And that is all I can... Why are you taking the bearers? Why do they always have to make such a fuss? He knew you knew all along that he was... Forgive me for disturbing you, but... Mm, I've seen... As have I, Lord... Uh... The rumors... That he's a bearer. He'll never be mayor now. But what of his wares? Bearer or no, his steel is highly... In this, at least, he's done the town a service. Leniency? He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. So what do you propose? Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. That is a question, and they will thank you not to get involved. The townsfolk have made their minds up. Nor I. Conrad and Natalie ref You never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things. All right. to take the bearers. I assume the situation is hopeless? There's still hope. But perhaps not in this life. You mustn't think like that, Luo. We'll talk some sense into them in the end. You know. You and your efforts would be better spent elsewhere. But Lubo. Rosina would often tell me that steel does not lie. Let it yourself be true. That was her rather an ironic one when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making. But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself, and so must I be. I must do what I. And now. I must embrace my new role of villain so that the people of death are only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits them. I'll need to make a suitably dram- Don't go, Lubor. You're the only one who was ever kind to us. We'll be all alone. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. How could it possibly be for the best? The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their mind. They would not take it, Victor. It's over. Over, you s And so just like that, you're going to throw this town and- I thought you were better than this. But it's- Victor. Forget it. Are you sure you're making the right choice, Lubo? Of those available to me, I believe it's- Ah, but where are my manners? Here. A reward for clearing out that bandit camp. Right then. I have packing to do. If there's anything I can do. I'll- Bear it in mind. Thank
Nora should be somewhere nearby. Assuming she's still here. Ah, Clive. I was. I'd like you to take something to Sir Wade up in Eastpool. Seeds for planting. Thought it was about time. I'll keep providing them with whatever they need in the meat. But if Eastpool's going to survive. It's got to be able to fend for itself. As of those poor bearers, they've lived their whole lives in servitude. Small wonder they ain't got the foggiest out to provide for themselves. And if you're wondering why you, well, the wagoneers taking supplies up that way have been coming back with more and more up. Sir Wade's putting a brave face on it. But I think even he's starting to worry. And it. All right. Thanks. There. That should be enough to keep them in Gazal Greens for a few years at least. Gizal greens. Not the most mouth-watering crop, I'll admit. But they're hardy, they grow fast, and they fill a hole. Better that than something that'll wither away at first frost. And chocobos love them too, which is no small thing. When I say all of us need to pull together to get East Pool back on its feet, I mean all of us. They ain't exactly succulent, but cook them right, and they're just about bearable. I'll take your word for it. Anyway, Sir Wade'll know what to do with them. I'll go up there and show him myself. I'm sure you will. Just because the heavens have gone to rack and ruin, it don't mean we have to. Let's get this stall set out. Ah, <sighs> nearly done. It doesn't still hurt, does it? Oh, a thousand Akashic jaws couldn't hurt me. I'm a senator's area. What are you after? Thanks very much. There you go. Thanks very much. There you go. Thanks very much. Fare thee well. I've got greens of all shapes and sizes. Green though. It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. How goes the investigation? Sid, what brings you to Martha's Rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own, tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long held she's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away, and then That was her just now, wasn't it? So... I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looked after her brush with those beast men on the road to Northreach. She hired herself an Imperial Esk- She's dangerous, Sid. But I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Baum Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway.
Ah, what brings you to Eastpool? A delivery from Martha. These are Gizal. Martha's keen to cut the apron strings. I jest, of course. You see, I have. But they'd long since gone to seed. Martha was hoping you might be able to show the bearers how to plant and tend the. so that they'll be able to fend for themselves. That's not a bad idea. These bearers had only recently escaped their bot. They know little of freedom, of prov Unless we teach them how to live like free men, I fear that all we have achieved in bringing them here is to exchange one master for another. Not that myself and the Guardians have been the best example to them so far. Subsist. It's about time we all started to provide for ourselves. Unfortunately, we've been a little too busy of late to focus on much besides bolstering- The Horde is closing in. They're coming, so wait, all of them. Damn it all. I thought we'd have more time. Gather the men in the square. Send to the rest for reinforcement. Yes, Sir Wade. The Horde. A Kashek. A veritable legion of them. They've been seen prowling around the northern... We don't have the numbers to hold back a swarm that size. I had hoped to build a perimeter wall so that myself and the Guardians... Now you're out of time. Precisely. If reinforcements from the rest arrive before they do... We may just scrape through- What if you could call on reinforcements from Eastpool? You mean the bearers? We brought them here so they might live, not die- So wait. You said you lack men to defend the village. Are the bearers not men? Do they not wish to see Eastpool saved, though they may not be trained soldiers like your guardians? What help they are able to offer could still prove the difference between victory and defeat. You're right, my lord. I will appeal to... My friends, I humbly beg your aid. We guardians are few and our enemies many. But I swear we can defeat them with you at our side. You would send us to the slaughter? To serve as bait for those fiends so that you and your men might be spared. And to think we trusted you. Say what you will. A home is not worth dying for. But it is worth fighting for. Sir Wade fights to give you lot a chance. Just like I do. Just like Sid does. We all wanted to give you a home where you could be free. And you got one, didn't you? This place, Eastpool. This is your village. Your home. And if you don't fight to protect what's yours, You'll lose it! You know I'm right. This world wants to take everything from you. Everything. Your homes, your freedom, your very lives. So then, are you going to stand by and let that happen to you? Are you going to accept fate like good little Bran did and die, having never stood up for yourselves? Or will you fight like free men and women? What? What are you doing? All right. Give me a sword. I never dreamt I'd have a home of my own. And now that I have, I don't want to lose it. I will protect what's mine, or die trying. We all will. Free men and women, fighting together. For Eastpool! For Eastpool! Thank you, Martha. 
Don't mention it. Just promise me one thing. That you'll show them how Freeborn fight. <laughs> Gladly. Well, if it was numbers you were lacking, you yes. Thanks to you. Me? Oh, I just love the sound of my own voice. Lord Rossfield, my lady, we're ready. So what's the plan of action? We'll divide our forces into several small detachments, each made up of guardians, bearers, and guards from the rest. These will position them upon engaging with the Akashic. Each detachment will keep the creatures... You're going to lure them into the village? I am. We will have neither the time nor the resources to treat the wounded, so injuries must be avoided at all. By coordinating our withdrawal through the use of messengers drawn from among the bearers, we will aim to have the swarm converge at a point of... With luck, that point will be the village square. The perfect place for our most... And for you and I to finish them off. A sound plan. But one that'll require a leader with a cool head and strong nerves to coordinate the retreat. I'd say you have both in abundance await. Please, leave the last of the fighting to me. Ha! And let you... Sir, wait! They're here. Then you know what you must do. We work together. Everyone playing their part. Each shielding the other that no man might fall. For Rosaria. For Rosaria! We've no time to argue, my lord. I'll do as you ask. And I will do as you ask. Suppose we'd better do our bit too then, eh? Right you are, Martha. The calm before the storm. And here it comes. Let this village fall. Looks like that's the last of them. Lord Rossfield! 
What is it? Owl from the rest. An Akashic curl's been sighted on Rhiannon's right. Well, the better half of her guard is he. So wait, how many Akash? Hard to say. My men are still facing some resistance. I could order a detachment or two to fall back. No. Let them finish the job. You stay here too, Sir Wade. I'll go after the Curl. Join me only when East Pool is won. If you're sure, my lord. May the Founder protect you. 